Dobry den, hello everyone, this is Davuda Konzada here. I have been living in Prague in Czech Republic for the last seven years. I've been studying here and at the moment I'm working as a full-time employee. And this is actually my eighth year in Prague. My whole journey during this seven, eight years has been incredible. I love this country, I love Prague specifically. And in this video, I would like to share my top five reasons why I hate Czech Republic. So when you have seen the title of this video or you have clicked on my thumbnail, if you came here with the negative vibes and if you would like to share negativity and actually tell me that I need to go back to my country, if I don't like, if I hate things about Czech Republic, no. I'm sorry, I will be disappointing you. I'm actually loving Prague, I'm loving Czech Republic. Again, this video is more like a fun and I would like to share my experiences. Reasons I will be giving during this video, I'm sure most of the Czech people would be agreeing with me. So let's get started. The first reason, on top of my reasons, is the smelling public transportation. I'm sure if you've been in Prague as a visitor, or if you're living in Czech Republic as an expat, or if you're a Czech citizen, you know that sometimes the trams can be smelling really terrible. Sometimes when you're having a really good day, you're listening to the music and you're having a ride in the tram, after a few seconds, some smell really hits you so bad and you're like, you have a wake up call. At this point, you realize somebody entered to the tram. When you look around, you can recognize one of the homeless guys in the tram. Please don't get me wrong, I have nothing against homeless people, they are also human beings, but the smell can be really terrible sometimes. Sometimes you can be in a situation that you are kind of stuck in the tram, the tram is quite crowded and you have nowhere to move and you cannot really get out from the tram because the doors are already closed and you have no other choice just to wait for 2-3 minutes in the smell to get out from the tram in the next station. My second reason on my list is making money in Czech Republic and trying to spend it in a foreign country. What do I mean by spending money in a different country? When you're planning your holidays, it's quite hard to choose the right destination where your budget will be enough. Because if you have already been in Prague or in Czech Republic, as you already know, Czech Republic is one of the cheap countries in Europe. That also means that the Czech salaries are quite low. Average salary is 34,000 Czech crowns per month, which is around 1,200 euros. Let's say if you decide to go to one of the neighbor countries, such as Germany, or you would like to travel to Switzerland, Austria, your budget might be quite tight for such a trips. On the other hand, for the people who is coming from these countries such as UK, Switzerland, Nordic countries, these people are having really good time because the prices can be two, sometimes three times cheaper than their countries. That means they can stay longer in Czech Republic and enjoy more activities here. When I talked about the visitors from different countries, about the tourists, which brings me to the third reason why I hate Czech Republic, is group of party people in the city center you see. Most of the people from UK, Ireland, Germany, they choose their bachelor parties to be happening in Prague or in Czech Republic for several reasons. First, Czech Republic is easy accessible country by the flights. Second, the country is quite cheap. Third, it's a beautiful city, beautiful country. And the fourth one and the most important one, I think, is that the alcohol is quite cheap here. That means you can get drunk quite fast. Again, I have nothing against these people and it's actually good for the economy. People are traveling from different countries, helps to the Czech economy. But sometimes 
you are really tired and you would like to have a walk in the city center then you meet this bunch of people who is screaming who is doing weird things and they are drunk and sometimes they are respectful in this point when you're tired you would like to just enjoy your evening and you don't really want to be there but there is a solution for this of course if you don't really go to the city center then you wouldn't really meet these people we talked about the visitors and the tourists coming to Prague to Czech Republic, which brings me to the my fourth reason why I hate Czech Republic is about the customer service. Customer service can be really terrible sometimes. Oh yeah, I have to clarify this because at the moment I'm going to a lot of restaurants and cafes, which I love the customer service there. They are super friendly and they can be very helpful in any time. However, when you come here as a tourist and you don't know which places to go, you might have really bad experience with the customer service. I'm coming from a very different culture and in my culture, and I think in most of the countries actually, there is a, such a rule that the customer is always right, no matter what. But when you are in Czech Republic, this is not the case most of the time. And sometimes when you sit in the restaurant or in the cafe, you might feel like when the waiter is serving you or when they're asking questions, you might feel like you are the waiter and that that person is actually the customer and you are trying to be nice and polite and try your best to have the nice experience. So if you already been in Prague as a tourist or if you are living here in Czech Republic, that's something I think we can all agree with that the sometimes the customer service is not the best. And when you travel to other countries, you can see the big difference. This is really depends on the which places you go, how expensive is the restaurant or the cafe. And you have to do your research before you come to Prague or Czech Republic to see the online feedback, how the customer service is, how the food is there. So make your research before you arrive here. When we talk about the customer service, there's one thing I need to mention is the language. When you speak English, you might get a different experience than if you try at least to say some words in Czech, try to order in Czech, at least to say hi, bye, these things. It can really help you and it can change your whole experience. Dobrý den. Um, můžu poprosit dvakrát svíčkova, a jedno pivo a jedno kolo. A to je všechno. So when you are coming to Prague, make sure you learn at least the basics to order food, to say hi, to say thank you, to say please, which are the basics and it can be very helpful with your whole experience. My last and very important reason why I hate Czech Republic, which also changed my whole life, is about getting stuck in this country. What I mean by getting stuck, when you travel to Czech Republic, specifically to Prague, if you experience being here, if you experience living in Prague, then it's so much hard to leave this country behind. When I arrived to Prague, my initial plan was I finish my studies after four years and then I go away to a different country or back to my country. But the reality was different and my plans had no point because after you lived here for some time, even few months, you cannot really leave this country behind. You cannot really decide that I will be living somewhere else. Prague is so beautiful and it's attaching itself to you so much that even if you manage to go away from this country, still part of your heart is always here. So my last reasoning was more like a positive and also negative at the same time. It's kind of like a love and hate relationship. But again, I love Czech Republic. I love living here and this is my second home. I just wanted to share my experience and how I felt being here. Of course, there are so many things I love about Prague, Czech Republic, and that's something I can make different video in the future. If you had a chance to visit Czech Republic in the past, or maybe you are already living here, I would like to hear also your thoughts. What do you think? And what is your experiences, all the reasonings I gave? I would love to hear from you guys. So please make sure you add your comments in the comment section below, and I would be more than happy to read and respond back.
Thank you so much guys for staying until end of this video. I really appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the subscription you have in my channel. Thank you so much again and I will see you in the next video. Tak ciao, naschledanou.